Hey guys, um, I've been promising now for a while to update everybody and uh, start working a little more on my content for my uh, YouTube channel, but um, I figured even though it's been kind of a hard week to, I've been promising all week to come up with something. This is not going to be edited. This is going to be just me straight shooting, telling you how it is. Um, no excuses, just um, events that took place. Uh, about two and a half, three months ago, um, my entire family came down with uh, COVID. <clears throat> um, it was right around the time that the I was shooting the uh, the series of three on how to breed the axolotls, um, and we had a huge clutch of 750 babies. And um, I was the first one to come down sick. Uh, they, we all had it at the same time. I just showed symptoms earlier. Uh, my children did as well. Um, my wife and mother-in-law, we, we all live in the same home. And uh, they, they got sick as well. And um, I recouped kind of fast, but uh, it didn't happen so much for my wife and my mother-in-law. Um, during the time that I was making the videos, I ended up going down with a pretty good temperature. And I thought I had ordered brine shrimp, which is what I use to feed the babies. And um, because of my fever or whatever, I don't know what it is. In my mind, I ordered them, but I actually didn't. So they went multiple days without having anything. And by the time I was feeling better, um, I had realized that there was no brine shrimp. So I had placed an order. Well, as you know, We've been having a lot of shipping issues, um, supply issues in the United States here, and my order was backed up even though it said it was in stock and available. So I ended up not getting my brine shrimp for over a week. And if you don't feed babies for almost two weeks, you know, um, they don't want to live. And then right around the time that I was supposed to be getting my shipment, I got a notice. It was going to be delayed even longer. Um, mistakes on my behalf. Uh, just ran into a lot of problems. And around that time, when I finally did get my brine shrimp, the babies were gone. There's nothing I could do. I could have grown Daphnia. There's multiple other things that I'm sure some of you might tell me I could have done. But when you have babies that small and you're running a temperature and you're down, you, you you don't think very well and you uh, a lot of things went wrong thank God I had a sufficient supply of blood worms because I was able to keep the adults alive um, that's still back ordered just, I'm getting stuff but it has been a difficult year getting supplies but uh, I'm now more than stocked with my brine shrimp I won't run out um, but around the time that the babies died and I started feeling better I was going to do some updates and tell you all what was going on. However, um, that's when my wife and mother-in-law took a turn for the worst. Uh, they spent the better part of about a week and a half, two weeks in bed, running temperatures and getting worse and worse till finally one day, you know, we decided that's it. We have to call 911. I can't get them better. And so we did. And they went to the hospital. Thank God they were never put on ventilators. They were put on uh, breathing apparatuses, some oxygen tubes and stuff, but, um, uh, they were in there for a little over two weeks. And, um, so all this boils down that it's been months that all this has been going on. It, it feels like a moment in time, but you don't realize how much time actually goes by during the time. And, and, and it was very difficult because we had no income. Uh, both of us are in the service industry and, um, breeding, you know, axolotls that all died and, um, YouTube content that I haven't been producing. And, uh, so her lungs were so, my wife's lungs were so badly damaged that, uh, she was down for about another month after that. And I mean, just honestly going from the couch to the bathroom was a 30 minute event. And so I was there taking care of her, trying to balance bills, taking care of my children, taking care of my mother-in-law. Um, so things that just 
balled up. You know, we've all been through a lot of things. I'm not trying to have a pity party here, honestly. But uh, just want you to understand that I will be doing more content. Things are getting better. I'm working on things here on my half. My wife would have liked to start being in the videos eventually, but um, part of the side effects that she had was she lost a lot of her hair. Uh, she's growing it back. It is coming back. So guys, if you had COVID and your hair falls out, uh, it does come back. The side effect is not so much from COVID. It's actually from having a fever for a long period of time. It just damages your body a lot. And um, so she will be joining me on some new videos and I will be putting new content out very soon. Um, not sure if I'm gonna put the, some images in this video. I don't think I wanna, I don't know if I wanna share that. I don't know if you wanna see it of pictures of my wife in the hospital and um, I also had a little accent that actually almost cost me my life. Um, I had had a shelf fall onto my head um, that was not secured properly and uh, busted me wide open. I, I have pictures to show you, but I don't think you want to see that. Um, but the, the fact of the matter is, is guys, just be patient with me. I promise you. Um, coming up here soon. I'm actually traveling right now trying to put other things together and now that I'm full-fledged back and ready to go uh, I'll be putting a lot of content out. I'm gonna try to do it almost on a t like two times a week if I can um, starting after like say the 24th or so of this month um, when I get home. So bear with me till then and I have some surprises. Um, give you a little spoiler here. The uh, Lucky, the Axolotl that we had um, rescued, uh, she had babies. So now that we're back in the swing of things, we do have a few clutches. Cute as a button, doing really well. Um, you know, as you know, I breed and sell the Axolotl, so they are doing good. I have some customers already, so we're doing, we're getting back on track. But uh, more content to come, guys. I promise you won't be sorry. Just stick around with me. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for your subscriptions. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, do it down below, as everybody else on YouTube says. Guys, hope you had a good holiday. I hope you're being safe. I hope this world that we're living in right now is not driving you absolutely clinically insane. And I'll catch you on the next video.